Hi, my name is Michelle Irwin, and I'm going to tell you why you should quit smoking cigarettes today. Yes, you've probably heard many people tell you why you should quit. And yes, they do have good reasons, which they should, because it's terrible for you. One, you're paying for it. How bad is that? Roughly, most people spend like $5 on a pack of cigarettes, or at least I know the people I know that smoke cigarettes spend about $5. That's $5 a day, and that's if you only smoke one pack. Say you smoke two, that's $10 a day. That's a lot of money when you all, when you add it all up. That's ridiculous. You could buy a new car, new phone, new clothes. You could buy anything with all that money instead of cigarettes because in the end, you're going to be paying even more money when you're paying medical bills to get a hole put in your throat or when you're on oxygen because you can't breathe because of all the damage it does to your lungs. It's a nasty, nasty death. Like, it's just nasty all around. One, you get black gums and your teeth start going to nothing and your nails, they turn yellow and your hair stinks and you stink and you don't even smell it because you smoke. But say you go smoke a cigarette and then you walk inside, everyone can smell you. Trust me, they can smell you. And it's awful, especially if you don't smoke. And that's another sad thing. Secondhand smoke is just as bad is smoking a cigarette and that's sad because the people that don't want to smoke don't even have the choice when careless smokers just decide to walk around and smoke a cigarette or smoke in a restaurant it's rude and it's disgusting 3,000 people die from secondhand smoke alone one in five people die just from smoking one in five do you know how many people we have on the planet a lot. Billions. Can you imagine one in five of everyone? That's a big number. Then, it's not even always nice deaths. People die of cancer. Smoking is a very cancerous thing. There's over 7,000 chemicals in cigarettes. 69 of the 250 that are even known are all cancerous chemicals that you are putting into your body. Throat cancer? It's a nasty thing. And it's not only throat cancer and lung cancer. Smoking cigarettes damages almost every organ in your body. It damages your heart. It damages your bladder. It damages your pancreas. It damages your liver and your kidneys. It goes everywhere. You're not just hurting your lungs. You're hurting everything. And you're hurting the people around you. Which is even more silly. That's why you should just quit. Did you know if you quit today, your body will start rehabilitating itself within the next few hours. Within six hours, you'll have increased circulation. Your blood pressure drops a little bit. Or, well, not your blood pressure, but your carbon level. It You'll immediately start feeling better. Give it a week, then your blood circulates and you can run faster without being out of breath. I mean, you can do so much more. Not only can you get cancer, though, just throwing that out there. Smoking cigarettes also, heart disease, stroke, and COPD. How awful is that? Things that people die over every single day, we could stop that. Just by not picking up another cigarette. Don't buy another pack. Just throw them away. Think about it. You could set an example for your kids. They might have a problem doing something, and if you quit smoking cigarettes, that shows them if you can do that, they can do anything because it's so hard to quit smoking cigarettes, I've heard. But there are so many ways to do it. There are electronic cigarettes, and, I mean, you have to get the ones without nicotine in them because if you get the nicotine in them, it's still bad for you because nicotine's extremely addictive and you don't want to put nicotine into your lungs. Why have tar all in there? That's awful. You don't want to be breathing in tar. That's disgusting. So quit and then be able to tell your kids if I can quit cigarettes you don't need a phone or anything. That'd be amazing. You should quit today not only for you but for me, your kids, your parents, anyone. 
Show them if you can do it, and maybe pass the word and get everyone else to quit. Thanks.